This is VIA Championship Full Drive Tournament and we are reaching the end of the undercard. The last bout is a catchweight one, 63.5 kilograms for the blue corner. We are inviting a fighter from Moldova, Igor Zadorozhnyak. Calling for the red corner, a fighter from Moldova, Maximus Bejenuta! and one fight in the record and this is a win representing team Bergut Fight Club from Moldova in the blue corner Igor Zadorozhnyak <laughs> Maximus has 20 years a height of 1 meter 80 centimeters weight 63.5 kilograms fights 8 out of which six wins and two losses, representing Garuda Fight Club from Moldova in the red corner, Maximus Vigilota. This is a catch weight bout, 63.5 kilograms, three rounds of three minutes each, extra one round, K1 rules, referee Vladimir Zemorde. Fair rules, no elbows, no bleach. 
Protect yourself at all times, so don't bend back on mats. Shake your hands if you want to do it now, your corners. Judge, judge, judge. First round, back, fight. The bell and round number one, ladies and gentlemen, our final undercard bout of the evening here. And I think that this one's going to be quick, it's going to be dynamic, and there's going to be a lot of punches thrown in a very short amount of time here, and already it seems to be coming to fruition. We got doubling, possibly tripling up there with the left hand. These two bouncing all around the ring here. Back kick caught that time. One of those shots may have strayed a little bit low. Well, when you've got that much movement in the ring, sometimes things like that do happen. Ooh, that, oh boy, that one caught him very clean below the belt there. Back fist caught him partially. These two really mixing it up here. Oh boy, look at that. Really digging in, he's still coming. These two not only utilizing a lot of movement, uh, but also a lot of power. And that's what really makes this matchup so unique and dynamic here, is not only these guys coming at you from every single angle possible, but they're really throwing some blistering shots in there. Got to remember, though, that this is a three-round fight. There are nine minutes to work with here. And what kind of shape are these two going to be in come round number three if we ever make it that far? Big clubbing shot, a left hand around the corner, and another one. That was going to be ruled a slip. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of slipping and falling in this one. Left hand connects there from Benja Nutza. And again, trips and stumbles there. Benja Nutza is, I like that he's so, uh, that he, you can't, pin this guy down, he's never in one spot, but it seems to be working against him though sometimes, and he held on to the leg that time way too long. Final 10 seconds now. Knees back and forth there. Ooh, and he ran into a very hard push kick that time, did Benjanuta. Boy, these two huffing and puffing after round number one, and who could blame him? Take another look at highlights here. Yeah, let's slow it down. Let's put this thing in slow motion. So much happened there in round number one. It was unbelievable. I almost couldn't even get a word in edgewise because every time I would say what had happened, there was already 10 other things that had happened in the meantime. The commentator's worst nightmare in this one. <laughs> Round number two coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Second round. Second round. Fight! And here we go. Round number two underway here. This bout and all bouts this evening under kickboxing rules. No MMA on the card here this evening, but as we've already seen, hinted at, it certainly will be on the menu next year and that low blow is not on the menu. They say turnabout is fair play, but I, it's hard to, we'll get another look at it here. 
Oh yeah, ran right into it. And we're back to action already, ladies and gentlemen here. So there's one low blow by each gentleman. Certainly not intentional, but as I said, there's so much happening in such a short period of time that sometimes it's unavoidable. I like to see speed, but I also like to see precision. Hard shot downstairs, and they may have butted heads there. Things really getting physical now as they brawl up against the ropes. Another trip, he goes head over heels that time. Half the time expired now in round number two. And again, a feverish pace here. Things kind of slowing down as far as the action from time to time, but then when they do engage, look out. Multiple shots being thrown. It's very rare in this fight that somebody just throws one shot. It's always a long combination and it's always standing and swinging and then they do back away eventually but not after several shots are thrown looking for a knee couldn't quite pull the trigger that time Benjanota he is red from head to toe here. His face, his body covered, but he's still trotting around the ring as he looks up to the screen that time to see how much time he's got to work with. Catches a good body kick that time. Zadoroznak nailed him with a body kick there. Shots like that to the midsection will certainly slow somebody down and just out of range, just narrowly out of range that time with a head kick. Final seconds now of round two. And that'll do it. Both guys very slow to get back to their corners. Look at the length of time that it took Maximus Benjanuta to get back to his corner. And I also noticed that uh, when Zadoroznek was moving back to his corner, he was really trying to get some oxygen into those lungs. And so that's going to be perhaps the, the biggest issue that these guys have. And I talked about it already in round number one. You've got to be able to pace yourself or you've got to simply have the cardio to do it. I love when, when fighters have this kind of uh, action in the ring and I love the I love, uh, well, I love the Fia girls, but I, I also love the, the way that they move in there and uh, the different kind of angles that they show each other. And, you know, it's like right when you think you've got somebody who's in a completely different spot in the ring, but you've got to have the stamina to be able to pull that kind of a style off. Let's see who's better cardiovascularly here. That push kick may change things. That'll knock the wind right out of you. He was about a half a mile away on that back fist, not even close. In my mind, very even fight here so far, this round three. The last chance to sort it out between these two. Nice left hand bounced off the cranium that time. Benjanuta scores. Big wild swing there. 
Zadler Oznak, whoa, oh, and another slip. Solid right hand connects. Bejanuta's body showing the wear and tear of this fight. Still bouncing around the ring though. Whoa! Look at that, just a primal scream there from Maximus Benjanuta. Oh! Zabaroznek connects with a vicious right hand. Inside a minute now. Oh, they came dangerously close again to a clash of heads. And Benjanuta once again, I saw him look up at the big screen to see how much time there was. There's less than 30 seconds. Whoa! This one gonna end, ladies and gentlemen. Very evenly matched up opponents here. Lots of punches being thrown, lots of kicks, a feverish pace in this one. And we go to the judges. Have another look. I, I was very impressed with the conditioning of Maximus Benjanuta. You know that he was definitely feeling the pace here in this one, but he was able to keep trotting around the ring like that for the full duration of the contest. It would be interesting to see if he'd be able to keep that up with a five round title fight. But uh, he's certainly able to keep it up here tonight through three rounds. Zed Rosneck also never backing down here. I do get the feeling though that Bejanuta was in the control of the fight just a little bit more though. The way he was uh, sticking and moving around the ring here. Is that enough to get the victory? I don't know. Uh, but our ring announcer Vladimir Marakochi does have the decision so we'll send it up to the ring here to him in just a moment. All right ladies and gentlemen the judges have no decision yet. Extra round. Oh, an extra round, all right. So let's see if he can keep up the, the trotting and the running and the, the movement here. Look at the FIA girls. I tell you, they are really something else. All right, ladies and gentlemen, three more minutes left here to sort it out between these two. Keep in mind that in this extra round here, whatever happened in the first three rounds is out the window now. That has absolutely no effect on the scorecards here. Should we go to a decision in the extra round that will only depend on what happens here in these next three minutes? Oh, what a shot! That was a beautiful right hand right on the chin there by Zadoroznek. Whoa! Zadaroznak closing in here. I 
I think that uh, Benjanuta need not worry about the time here. He's got, whoa! He gets it on the chin again, and another one! Zadorozak taking over here in this extra round. And again, he's looking up at the clock at the time. Just fight until you hear the bell. Oh, narrowly was able to get the gloves up there and may have saved himself the fight. Look at the left leg of Benjanuta. Just looks like mincemeat at this point. Nice right hand there, another beautiful hook there by Zadroznak as Benjanuta is fading here in this extra round. Almost doesn't even have the energy to stay vertical at this point. Benjanuta is fading quickly here. Reaching way out with that right hand. Forty-five seconds remaining here, ladies and gentlemen. Zadrozdek has certainly landed the more telling blows here in this one. Oh, finds the uppercut as well. Ran into a knee that time. Benjanuta starting to pull it together here towards the end of the round. Trying to stay as far away from his opponent as possible. Who takes home the victory here in this extra round in our final undercard bout of the evening, ladies and gentlemen? We go to the judges once again for a decision. Well, take a look. In my opinion, I think that Benjanuta really started to fade in that extra round, and Zadroznak took over. He landed shots just like that, power shots, again and again in that extra round, and Benjanuta just didn't have the energy, didn't have the gas left in the tank in that extra round, but we'll, we shall see. I believe we do have a final decision at this point in time, and so we will send it up to the ring here and find out what that is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was hard to decide. But in the last round, the judges made a decision, and they were unanimous. The winner is Blue Corner, Igor Zado. Zadorozhnya gets the job done in the extra round, ladies and gentlemen, and that does it for the undercard of FIA Full Drive. Coming up next, the main card. We have got ourselves a four-man featherweight interim championship tournament. We have also got the women's strawweight title on the line. And then in the main event, ladies and gentlemen, the FIA Light Heavyweight Championship of the World will be decided. So stay with us. The main card starts in just a few moments.